Apparently, I'm a CPC paid actor. I'm a CPC hack that was paid by Pierre Polyev. First off, I'd like to say that we need to axe the tax, stop the crime, fix the budget, and build the homes and bring it home. And second of all, uh, I don't know what the hell you're talking about. You know, it's been a couple of times that I see Pierre Polyev these days. Uh, he's on point with just a Trudeau, just hammering him with uppercuts. Like, he's just like nailing him with good stuff back to back to back. But today, he actually called him dumb a couple of times. And after he did that, he got a standing ovation from the conservatives. But when you look on the other side, you can actually see the liberals and not one of them is actually <laughs> reacting. They're just like sitting there motionless. It's actually pretty funny to see. Check this out. It was dumb. It was dumb to let the Americans reimpose by America rules that Harper had got lifted. It was dumb to let Trump impose uh, softwood lumber tariffs that Biden has now doubled. Yep. But you know what is dumb, dumber, and dumbest of all? Imposing a 61 cent a liter carbon tax yeah. that will force our trucking companies, our factories, and our mines to head south of the border into the arms of President Trump. We know why he wants to create American jobs with the Canadian money, but why does this Prime Minister want to help him? Yeah. <laughs> The on Right Honourable Prime Minister. Mr. Speaker, we stood up and protect, uh, protected Canadian jobs, Canadian industry and Canadian trade. Uh, we know uh, that the American government cares about creating prosperity in North America and we're going to do it together. But what the American government, and particularly this President, also cares about is defence and national security. Well, the leader of the Conservative Party was sitting around the cabinet table when they dropped uh, spending on defence to below low 1%, and the Americans won't understand any more than Canadians do why the leader of the opposition refuses to take national security seriously, refuses to get his... Mr. Speaker, maybe the reason why Conservatives were able to get rid of Buy America and softwood lumber tariffs is because we helped the Americans crush the Taliban and ISIS, whereas this Prime Minister couldn't even shoot down a Chinese weather balloon over northern Canada. Now... Now he wants to impose a tariff on his own companies, a 61 cent a litre carbon tax, 300 percent higher than it is right now, where there's a zero percent carbon tax south of the border. Why does he want to create an avalanche of Canadian businesses, jobs and paychecks leaving for America? <laughs> Pierre Polyev is like the best. <laughs> At debate, man. Seriously, like this guy, I just love him more and more. Well, I love him especially when he makes just a Trudeau look like an idiot. Anyways, I'm gonna leave it at that. Subscribe to the channel if you're new here, and thanks for watching.